Hi guys, this is AGJ and welcome back to another video. So if you caught my last video about how I prepare for my Reborn role plays, you will know that I was planning to make this video, which is how I organise my nursery. That was the final step to planning a role play is organising. I wanted to show you around my nursery or my bedroom and show you how I organise the reborn stuff. So let's get started. So first of all on my radiator I have a big bottle of water. It isn't actually bottled water, it's just water at the tap. But if I have this on hand then I can make up the bottles in my bedroom which is good. So it is clean, clean water, I restock it when it gets low. But keeping it here means that the early morning feeds and the nighttime feeds will be warm because the radiator will heat up the water. And the bottles. This one I've just cleaned out so I'm putting it on there so that when the radiator comes on it will dry. I dry them like this because it wasn't that wet so it wouldn't drip out. And if you leave it like that then it will just evaporate it and let it out and it won't like become condensated or anything so that's my first thing bottles dry on the radiator and I heat the water there as well if the water isn't heated enough when I make up the bottle and I want it a little bit more then I just put the bottle on the radiator like this like with the lid on to heat it up so that's the first thing so this is the next part that I want to show you it is my changing table so it's at the end of my bed Eddie's asleep in his cot there. So I'll show you how I organise it. So first of all the changing mat is a Pampers changing mat. I've blue tacked it down so that it doesn't come up at the edges and it's underneath. If you're wondering what the pink is through there, it's there's two thin pink blankets that are literally only that big. So they're no use for wrapping them up, but it's good under there because this is very thin. And it's just on solid wood, so I wanted to soften it a little bit. So I put some blankets underneath that I won't need or use. So that's just a little thing. Then if it gets wet or dirty, you can just take it off and chuck it out. So then I have this basket. There are two. The other one is in one of the buckets. Don't know where they're from, sorry. But it's just this nice wicker basket with a liner. And in here I have... All the boys bibs and the neutral bibs and then in the middle I've got a rattle which is a really good one it's from a charity shop it's just a second hand teething rattle thing so that basically if he's upset while I'm changing him I can just pull this out and just here calm down calm down and put it back and then when he gets older he can hold it and play with it while I'm changing him. It also is good for separating out the bibs or quick access when I'm doing tummy time. Because when I do tummy time, it's just this rattle and this toy, which stays on the car seat. And then some soft toys sometimes, but we'll get to those. So that's what's in that basket. It's just easy so that when I go make the bottles, come over here, heat them up, grab it, just pull out a bib and go and sit down. So then I have these bags on my bedpost. This one I use to put in the dirty nappies, like so. And this one is bigger and it's for dirty clothes. So obviously they don't actually dirty the clothes, but when I change them I put the clothes in this bag so that I actually use all the clothes instead of just putting them in the same outfit all the time. So when I get them ready for bed or dressed in the morning, the clothes go in the bag. So I actually utilise the rest of my clothes. So that is like what's on the surface. Then we delve into the first drawer. So this thing I think is from Ikea. And I think these boxes are too. So the black one and the green one. I want to get another one to go down there because that's just a cardboard box. But in this black one is all my nappies. There's approximately four packs in there. 
just because at one point I used to put like Nutella in them with baby borns and throw them out. So I don't have exactly four packs, but approximately. And they are the Aldi's own brand Mamia ones in size newborn. And they're all just wedged in. And when I start to get low, or this bag gets full, I just unroll them and fold them back up and reload this as though I was opening a new pack. So then in this box, this is my like favourite, most organised one. Let's get it out. I have this, the second one of these baskets in here. Won't get it out. First of all, I'll show you this. This is just down the side of it because of the gap. And it is just a purple wet bag with white raindrops on it. So it's only small and it's got a really good drawstring on it. I got it for Christmas in 2017, I think. And it's I really like it for when I take them out so I can put dirty clothes in there and dirty nappies in nappy sacks. Yeah, then I just know that these are the clothes and I can just empty that rather than going through nappy bags, having them, the clothes even dirtier now because they have dirty nappies with them. I don't know why I don't keep it in the changing bag, I just keep it there. Here's this basket. So first of all I have three lovies. These two are from CNA in Italy. Got them when I went to Italy and I didn't know if I was going to have a girl or a boy so I got both. And now I have my little boy. So I don't use this one very often, but it's just there. And then this one's a neutral one from Asda. It's just a little teddy bear holding a white blanket. And it's really adorable. These ones are good because they have the tag, like the hands and feet on the corners. And also they have different textures. So there is just the soft one, but then it's like ridged or fabric or whatever. And it's got a little face on it. So it's like really good for newborns. Then I have this green pot here with dummies in that are modified. Most of my boys' dummies are modified. So I just have this one, which is a magnetic one that came with her. And then this one. They're all Tommy Tippy. This one doesn't have blue tech on it, but the other two do, and then that one's magnetic. Yeah, I don't have many boys dummies. I want to get some more before the role play in the summer. Then I have this brush. It's from Baby Denman. Or Denman Baby, I don't know. It was my brush when I was a baby. I used it this morning. And so it smells really good. Because, oh it's really soft by the way. It smells good because this, it doesn't actually have coconut in it. I just put it in this bottle because it's small and it's one of those rather than like an unscrew so this is just a it's my shampoo mix for him so it's got mainly water with a small dollop of juicy apple shampoo and a couple sprays of a detangling spray not that his hair will get tangly and so this morning i just Worked some of that on the brush and brushed his hair so now his hair smells nice and so does the brush and I really like it it's mainly water based so it's really good for no hair I think, I don't know I just literally found stuff in my bathroom and put them in but then this this is hand cream by Treacle Moon the scent is the Raspberry Kiss it smells really good makes your hands really soft so there and this is for me before and after I change him. Then this finally is some body butter. I just use it on him to make him softer and smell nice. I think it's peach scented. Then we move on to this. This is just an ice cream tub. And it fits in there really well because it doesn't go all the way past the basket so it just bounces on the edge and it does not fall down but it's also not deep enough so there's space underneath which is good so here we just have 
these are all the wipes I've ever used, basically. I just, I reuse the wipes until they dry out, and then I put them in here, and use them as, like, washcloths or face cloths. So these, when I do a full wash of him, I will put this on one half and, like, water, and then just water on the other side so that I can scrub his hair with the shampoo and then rinse it with the water and then just brush it out. And that will be really nice. And then I have these Tesco Everyday Value Nappy Bags because I'm cheap. There's 300 in there and I've used about 10 of them, if that. So it's really good. <laughs> then we have this, which is... These are the containers that Tommy Tippy Dummies come in, if you didn't know. I have two homemade dummy clips in there. Those, like, bulldog clips just clip onto their clothes. And then there's string and a paper clip on the other end, which I can clip onto the dummy handle. Then I also have, I don't know if you can see it there, or if the light's reflecting too much, but there's an extra dummy teat for if I want to modify another bottle. Because that's how I do it. I just put it over the end, and then it doesn't. It's like perfect because it's clear and it fits great. And then now no milk comes out. Then I have this, which is from Poundland before it closed down. Maybe it's Poundworld. I don't know. I don't know which one closed down. But one of them closed down, and on the day, basically, there was the last day of it being open. They had to have a massive clear out, and they just said, Put whatever you can in your bag, and as long as it fits, you get that for two pounds. Anything you could fit in the bag for £2. And then once it got down to like the last hour, they reduced it to £1 for a bag of stuff. So Mummy went out and she got me two of these. A purple one and a green one, which you'll see later. But it's really good because it's a travel dummy case. So it clips onto your bag and it opens and you can like sterilise it and stuff. And it just keeps them really secure. Then I have another body butter here, which is strawberry cream scent. That one's really nice. Then, let's just put these back and just take off the... This. So in there, I have three more Tommy Tippy cases. This one has most of the girls' dummies in. This one has all the ones that are too big. And that one has the first dummies that I ever got, which... I don't really like they're too big and they have the cherry teeth if you can see I just don't really like them so they're down there that is this bin then this one I'll just show you down here this has the girls bibs in then these are just a bunch of stuffed toys which I also use for tummy time because like a lot of them there is a zebra in there so it's black and white and this it's mainly black and white and this and this which is not quite white but newborns like very early newborns can only see black and white really and then they start to get more colours so that's why you'll find a lot of baby toys like this one has a side that's completely black and white for newborns and then the brightest colours on the other side because they love contrast So then you have this bag which just has older toys in and like rattles and bad toys and stuff. Then on here I just have it's a shoe box that I duct tape the lid to the side. It's all the headbands, nappy covers for the girls, girls scratch mitts and boys scratch mitts. And a lantern from Ikea. So the next bit that I have is just here next to my bed. It's literally just on like a junk shelf. I have the rest of my bottles and stuff. So I have, they just came in a three pack, four ounce Avent bottles, all three are modified. Other ones on there, as you know. So they're both there. This, which is a Tommy Tippy food pot, and it just has what I use as formula in, and a Tommy Tippy spoon. And this is what I use as my formula it's just Tesco baby powder. So I just put a bunch of it in there because obviously as you probably know baby powder like squirts out so in here I can actually take the scoops of it so I find that really handy 
So the final bit is that caddy there. So it's right above Eddie's head. And it's just right next to my bed. Along with his red book, some chocolate. And the comic that I'm reading at the moment. So this will be more handy when I move my bedroom around. Don't know if I mentioned that. But I'm going to have... The changing table won't be right at the end of my bed. So I would have to get up to change him. And I kind of do it anyway. But... I want to have this next to my bed. I can then also take it around the house on days where I'm home alone and I actually get to move around with him. So, right in here. Also, before I start, I'm going to be doing night feeds at the beginning of the role play, or at least I'm going to try to. So, this will also be handy because I will be tired and won't want to get up in the middle of the night. Don't know if you already guessed that. But yeah. Down this side here is nappy sacks, just nice and neatly folded so that in the night, if he has a dirty nappy, pop it in there and just chuck it in the top or like off the side. And then I have wipes, I need new wipes because I have two wipes and I want two packs, one for here and one from there. The brand of wipes that I get are the Mamiya ones. Literally Aldi's own brand. I get the same brand of nappies and wipes because they're really cheap and they're good. And I don't, like, it's a doll. It doesn't matter if they're, like, not good for sensitive, but these ones say that they are. But, like, water wipes are way too expensive. So, yes. Then I just have this changing mat, which I don't know if you recognise because that used to be on my changing table. But it's really good because it just folds up really nice and small and then you can just open it out he fits on it that size you don't even have to like fully open it because that's a bit big but I can do that and just change him in bed and not have to worry about getting my bed dirty but it's nice because it just folds up and it's easy to clean and it won't like it's good, basically. It's a changing mat. And then I have nappies. I have five nappies. These three are Mamiya ones. This is a Pampers and this is a Little Angels one. So Asda's own brand. So I have those which are good. Then I have this which is just a plain white um, sleep suit, I'll show you. It's just plain white. But it's, it used to be mine. So it's tiny baby, because I was small. But then, it was really good. And then I, my legs got too long. So mummy and daddy cut the feet out, so I could still wear it. And then just put socks on me. So this will be good, because it'll be in the summer, so it'll be cooler. Um but it and it's just plain white as well so i wouldn't just put this on him normally it would only be like if he has a blowout in the middle of the night then i can change him or even if it's like i've taken this downstairs and he has a blowout in the middle of the day at least i have clothes <laughs> for him it's not like now he doesn't have any clothes and now i have to go upstairs just because he's had a blowout no siree that won't stop me then I have this vest, which I really like. I got it for Christmas. I have two or three more. And so it's just a sleeveless vest from Mother Care. Don't know why the label's on the outside for this one and not on any of the others. But I guess it's good because it won't scratch on their skin. But I really like it because not only is it adorable, but it velcros all the way around. This shoulder doesn't, like, unvelcro, but it's all velcro, so it's really easy, because you can just undo it, flip over there, lie them on, put it down, and just velcro it all the way around. So in the middle of the night, it's good, because it won't wake him up as much as having, like, something pulled over your head would. So that is always good. So then I have this bib which 
it, it it's just a gender neutral bib so there that's also another thing most of these things are gender neutral like even this like it's just an under vest it doesn't matter so that if i was playing with noelle then i could use this on her but it's just a gender neutral bib it's just got teddies and rabbits and clouds and like kites and stuff and it's just a simple popper it's, it's just a bib how good can a bib get really i mean if the milk spills then it will catch it then i have this it's this hat doesn't really go with anything because i don't have winnie the pooh things but it's just nice and warm so if in the night it gets really cold especially in his newborn days because i'll be doing the home birth so he has a hat there that he can wear and also inside it to save space just a pair of plain white socks so that if I've just changed him and he's wearing the footless pyjamas, then he's got socks in case his feet are cold. Even if he will be swaddled up. It's still good socks. Yeah. Just socks are good. Always good. And then I have this here, which is just... A little washcloth thing it's the only one left or the one that I have from when I was a baby it's just like toweling with this little tally on it so it's it's nice sorry my shadow's really annoying me but yeah it's a small little washcloth that I use if the bottles start leaking because it'll mop it up and whatever then I've got a muzzy it's just a plain white muzzy like for burping just use it as a burp burp cloth simple chuck it over your shoulder and then just easily put it away i roll my things to save space but like it doesn't really matter but yes then i have this which is the green version that i was telling you about I just have this white, plain white magnetic dummy and that one which is, don't know if you recognise it, the other one. There was another one that had dogs on that was like the similar colour pattern. That one just says love you to the moon and back. And that one's just blue tack. And the final thing I have in here is this hand cream Dirty Works with cocoa butter. So yeah, that's that. Actually, before I go, I will show you their drawers. So, this is my chest of drawers. They're mine. This one's a half and half. My pyjamas, baby blankets I don't use, and like season clothes. Christmas and Halloween. Then girls and boys. So, basically, these are sleep suits that fit Eddie. These are ones that don't. These are plain white short sleeve vests plain long sleeve vests this one and the vest that he's wearing at the moment go here the outfit vests so this one it's just plain white but it has a brown rim goes for some dungarees these are just like miscellaneous vests these are animal ones these are the short the sleeveless ones and these ones don't fit him then in the back here we have long sleeve shirts that one doesn't fit, there's the dungarees, that's a romper, that's sleeveless and these ones are short sleeved. Then these are joggers, these are like warmer pants, those ones are footed. These are all like tighter short ones and then these are just like shorts, loose. And those don't fit. This is an ugly like fleecy jacket and jogger set. Don't really like it but I keep it. These are some boots. These are muzzies all rolled up, these are blankets, socks, little booties, hats, um, and then cardies and jackets all folded up. Girls layout is the same, except she's the only one I make a girl, so none of them are rolled up, because they all fit her. So, sleep suits, vests, 
these are sleeveless ones, these are short sleeved, and then these are all long sleeved. Those ones are plain. Um, in here, these are plain long sleeved, patterned long sleeved, short sleeved. Dresses at the back, these leggings and short joggers, big joggers, tiny little shorts. Oh, those are like very short leggings. Cardis, hats, booties, socks, blankets. These are special rattly socks. And then muzzies. And this blanket for playmat. And then teddies and stuff. And the car seat. And the boppies. And the changing bag. And this is basically it. <laughs> so that is all I've got for you today. If there's anything else that you want to see me film, then just let me know in the comments. If you want to see like the birth plan in detail, if you want to see what routines I'm going to be using um, and then yeah if you just got any other video ideas just let me know in the comments so leave a like if you enjoyed the video subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this and turn on your notifications if you want to be notified every time I upload a video and then you will also know when I start the role play in summer because I will be doing either daily or weekly vlogs with that just like subscribe turn on notifications comment down below if you want to either leave something friendly or a video suggestion right I'll see you in the next video bye guys